Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on a Wednesday night. And we begin tonight with that news coming in just a short time ago. The nation's largest gas pipeline shut down after that Russian-based cyber attack here in the U.S. has just now been put back online. The company, Colonial Pipeline, just announcing they have restarted operation of the pipeline, but it will take days now to get the gas stations from the south right up to the east coast back up and running. In the meantime tonight, long lines, gas stations out of fuel, and that report of $7 a gallon in one location. Authorities tonight with a warning about price gouging. Long lines at a Sam's Club. This is Charlotte, North Carolina here. That state reporting up to two-thirds of its gas stations out of fuel. The shutdown affecting thousands of stations. And tonight with this news just in, it still means it could be days before we're back to normal. The national average for a gallon of gas above $3 for the first time since 2014. The first time in seven years. And again tonight to show you just how much is affected by this one cyber attack. That pipeline runs 5,500 miles from Texas straight up to New Jersey. So tonight here, drivers asking how much longer, when will prices stabilize? And of course, the larger question, what is the U.S. doing to keep this from happening again? ABC's Gio Benitez leads us off from Atlanta tonight. Tonight, Colonial Pipeline says it has restarted operations more than five days after Russian-linked hackers forced them to shut the pipeline down. Still tonight, the effects of that shutdown. Drivers in several states are paying top dollar at the pump if they can even find gas. Absolute insanity. Everyone is panic buying. Drivers lined up overnight at gas stations in Georgia. If I don't get gas, I'm going to be sleeping in my car tonight at work. Gas Buddy reporting at one point nearly two thirds of all stations in North Carolina were out of fuel and more than half just here in Atlanta. And you can see right here someone has brought several gas cans to stock up on whatever gas is left. Prices jumping about 10 cents overnight in South Carolina and 8 cents in Virginia. Today in Georgia, 24 cents since last week. This Virginia station charging nearly $7 a gallon. Six gallons of gas for $35, that's absolutely ridiculous. If there's price gouging going on, we won't hesitate to make sure our laws are enforced. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg announcing they're waiving weight restrictions so trucks can carry more fuel, addressing reports of people hoarding gas. Hoarding does not make things better, and uh, under no circumstances should gasoline ever be put into anything but uh, a vehicle directly or an approved container. CISA, the agency in charge of cybersecurity, says the Russian-linked group of hackers, known as DarkSide, gained access to Colonial's IT system, but that there was no indication that Colonial's operational networks were directly hit. Experts say the group has taken advantage of more than 40 victims in the last few years. Security analysts say this shows how vulnerable America's cyber infrastructure really is. It is absolutely a, a roadmap for enemies and adversaries uh, to potentially it, it carry, carry out a devastating blow against our critical infrastructure and really damage you know, not only our economy, but lead to injury or potentially loss of life. No question about that. Gio Benitez joins us now live from Atlanta tonight. And Gio, the late news, the pipeline now back up and running. But we know Memorial Day uh, still a couple of weeks away. Millions will hit the roads. And it could take that long to get back up to speed from Texas all the way up to the northeast. Yeah, that's right, David. We're talking about two weeks to get that gas all the way from Texas to the Northeast. And on that price gouging, remember, those state of emergency orders specifically mention price gouging. So state officials say they will investigate any complaint, and if they have to, they'll prosecute them. David. Gio Benitez leading us off tonight from Atlanta. Gio, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.